We are going to side bend in our chair now. But this can be just as easily done standing up or sitting cross-legged on the floor. The advantage of doing a side bend whilst the hips are anchored on the floor or in a chair is that the pelvis is unable to tip sideways, which affects what part of the spine moves. You'll also need a block or a brick. First, let's warm up the back a little. Ready for its side bend, which is quite an enormous move, by hiking the hips up one at a time. Sit with the legs hip width apart or a little bit wider. If you're sitting on the floor, your legs can be in a wide position and that works very well. Inhale and on the exhale, lift the right hip, squeezing the right armpit down to meet your hip. Slowly release and begin to lift the left hip, squeezing your left armpit down to meet your hip. Now release nice and slowly to a neutral point. We're going to try speeding that up a bit and I'm going to put on a swing track called Just Got Eyes For You. And together we're going to lift the right and lower. I lift the left but and Coming lower. Now lift twice on the right. We're going up and so hold. All the way down, up and hold, all the way down, lift left and lower, lift right and lower. Now lift left twice, going up and lower, same side left, up and lower. Now four on the right, up and down, up and down. Two more, up and down, up and down. Now left, up and down, up and down. Two more, up and down. Last one, up. Back to singles, lift the right and low. Lift the left and low. One more right and lower, one more left and lower. Now, do you think you can do that twice as fast? Let's try double speed. We're going right and left and right and left. Keep going, right and left, right and left. Two singles, right and right, left, double on the right. Two singles, left and right and double on the left we're going left and right left and right two on the left and two on the right relax release and give us a smile great job now we're warmed up let's take a lovely big side bend place your brick on the on its shortest side, so it's portrait mode and it's nearest towards you. On the right hand side of your chair. It can be useful to have your brick or block to land on, that's the reason why we're using it. Inhale, exhale and keep your chest facing forward, begin to tip to the right. Keep the underside waist a little lifted as you tip. So rather than just collapsing in the underside waist, feeling the contraction in your obliques as you go. Reach your right hand onto the block or the brick. Then bring your left hand up overhead. Think about your left latissimus dorsi. Remember, it attaches to the left iliac crest, the top of your pelvis, all the way down the lumbar spine, part the way up your thoracic spine. So it's all in side flex, all working as you side flex now. To lengthen the muscle further, bring your attention to your left hand. Remember the latissimus dorsi attaches to the inside of the arm bone and it's stretched out when the shoulder blade is forward. So not pulling it back and down. We're releasing it up out of that position. Reach your arm out of its socket now, drawing it slightly forward of your body. Bend the arm slightly so that you can turn it outwards or externally rotate it, palm to the ceiling. 
In this position, one end of the lat is furthest away from the other end at your low back and hip. So it, has, it is now at its fully stretched point. Inhale. Exhale and see if you can tip sideways a little further. You can adjust the landing point by turning your brick on its side in landscape mode. Or you may even be able to reach the floor if your arms are long enough. If you're sitting on the floor, you can land on your elbow. And to get deeper into the pose, you can slide it further away from your body. Now inhale. Exhale and return to sitting upright. Notice how you feel one side to the other by wriggling, side bending and hiking your hips. Let's try that on the left side now. Move your brick over to the other side in portrait mode. Inhale, exhale and side bend to the left, keeping your chest facing forwards. Notice how it feels in terms of ease of movement compared to the other side. We're usually more flexible lower down the spine, especially if we're dancers, <clears throat> and even more especially if we do some Latin dancing. The thoracic spine, however, is stiffened by our tendency to sit and move only in the sagittal or forward and back plane. Your spine will love you for this movement, particularly if you have low back pain. Now inhale. Exhale and raise your right arm overhead. With your arm raised, your lats will elongate too and help you release tightness in the shoulders. Remember when the muscle is lengthened, the arm is up, forward and externally rotated, as well as abducted or taken away from the body. See if you can adjust the arm now with this in mind. Stretch it up as if someone's got hold of your hand and is pulling it out of the socket. Forward of you slightly, bend the arm and externally rotate, palm to the ceiling. Just get that feeling that someone is pulling your arm bone out of its socket, allowing the shoulder blade to be elevated. Inhale, exhale, now further lengthen your right latissimus dorsi by ensuring that the hip is tilted down and the upper body is tilted a little further away. You can adjust your brick so that you have something even to lower to land on. Inhale, exhale and come back to the upright position. It is rare that you'd get an opportunity in everyday life to stretch out the lats. Remember that most of the time the opposite is true in terms of excessive daily shortening in the muscle because we rarely sit in a level way, often learning to stick our, sit sideways at the computer or stick our legs up onto the couch and loll to one side. In this position the hips are hiked and the waist is shortened just as they are if you lie on your side in bed for eight hours at night which inevitably causes hip and low back pain. So this exercise is a very useful one if you're a side sleeper and it's useful to be mindful when you're sitting of bringing yourself into an even posture or even sitting the other way round from time to time so it's not always lengthened and shortened on the same sides. Mm -hmm.